Yo, 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 it's Bernard, a.k.a. the Scarlet Spider. Ha, I didn't yeah. forget this time. <laughs> and this is Samir, the King in Black. And welcome to the Angry Blurs podcast. All right, where the nerds are black and the nerds are angry. All we right. Special guest this week. Yeah, returning guest. What, third, fourth time? I don't lost count. Chris is back in the building, everybody. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? <laughs> Not much chilling. Wearing a 10-year-old Harry Potter shirt from Universal Studios. I gotta love it. All right. So what are we getting into first, Samir? Okay, let's talk about the trailer for Wednesday. So, yeah, Chris, did you watch the trailer for Wednesday? Yes, I did, actually. All right. So I think I can get into this. I don't know what the deal is. I am ecstatic. Oh, my God. Jenna Ortega. Oh, my God. Luis Guzman. Oh, my God. Captain City Zones. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Oh my god! Yeah, and for everybody complaining that, oh, why is Gomez fat? In the original comics, Gomez was a little portly. As a matter of fact, if you go back and look at the animated, the only movie, time he was fit and thin was Raul Julia. Nope, the original TV show in the '60s as well. Yeah, what a race! I thought, that I thought he was chubby in the um in the animated series back then. Not the animated series. This Who is, plays him in the original? I can't remember, but. Um, in the movie that came out a couple years ago where Oscar Isaac does the voice of um, Gomez and I can't remember who does the voice of Morticia, but they use the original designs from the comic that came out in like the 30s or 40s or whenever it originally came out. So yeah, everyone was like, oh, why does Gomez have to be fat? Because people did their research when they greenlit this. And shout out to Tim Burton for always doing his research. Excuse me. Uh, Bless you. Most of the times. What do you mean most of the time? Why? Because he had people killing Batman? Hmm. Yeah, so, okay, so the guy from John Aston, who was the original um, uh, Gomez Adams, is white. So, you know, that's not accurate either. Uh, of course. I mean, what's Raul Julia? Is he still alive? Nowadays? He might be. 92 Who's years old. Who, Raul Julia? No, no, not Raul Julia, the Raul guy Julia who originally played yeah, Raul Julia uh, passed Gomez. Cancer. Yeah, he pa- yeah, I know that. I mean, everybody knows that. They dedicated Street Fighter to him, and that was just a worse, a bad dedication. He did that for his grandkids. Let that man be in peace. That movie was terrible. It no, was, but he did it for his grandkids. And and that's, he had the best line in that movie. What? Uh, the, the, the day I came to your village was the, best, was the most important day of your life. To me, it was Tuesday. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Why do you remember that? Because it was a good line. Samir, that movie came out in like 1994. And yeah. why do you remember that, <laughs> bro? I only thing I can remember are like lines from The Lion King, but that's also because I, you know, watch those every year. One, two, and one and a half. One and a half. Two. Yes. Was, first off, two wasn't that good. I don't know. Two was good. Two. Define good. Wait, the two of what? The Lion King. The scar. The the the. the Simba's pride. Yes. No, it was not good. Y'all on drugs. It wasn't. It didn't get, like, drugs. There are there are very few direct DVD uh uh Disney films that were good. And the, the only one that is goaded is Rescue Was Down Under. That was straight to, straight to VHS and it is fire. Return you know, of Jafar? I actually, I actually nope. like Aladdin too. The return of Jafar. Exactly. It's not good. Go back and watch that shit. You are on good. drugs. The the animation got downgraded. No, it the, didn't. The only thing that changed what? was Robin Williams didn't come back. Dude, go back and watch the original. I'm Aladdin going to go back and watch and, all and three of them. Up, I'm going to watch all three of them. With the oh, second one. There's a downgrade. Third one was not. The third one's terrible. The third one's not good either. Aladdin meeting his daddy. Nope. Running around doing, you know, shenanigans and whatnot. Nope. All right, anyways, we get off subject. Yeah, anyway, so. Yeah. I'm excited. Jen Ortega, win, win, win. <laughs> I am excited because this is Tim Burton in his element. As we all know, Tim Burton, I almost said Tim Burton. Tim Burton is known for all things spooky. Only thing I think, yeah, 
I think the only two things I've never watched that Tim Burton has directed may be Corpse Bride and Sweeney Todd. Oh, you actually watched Big Fish? I love Big Fish. I'm surprised you. Okay. I'm I surprised. Didn't, I didn't watch um I wasn't a fan of Willie the uh Willie Wonka and Charlie, Chocolate. Yeah. I actually I actually like um Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I got sick and tired of it. I nah. like it. I like that they gave Willie Wonka a backstory. Mm. Well, the only reason why I got sick and tired of it, I was working at the movie theater when that movie came out. That was 2005, so I got sick and tired of that. Beauty Shop, um, Cursed, The Ring 2, Episode 3, oh, Batman Begins. Episode 3. How dare you get tired of Episode 3? You go work at a movie theater for the summer that it comes out. Hello there. Yes. But, what are you what you're supposed to say? General Kenobi! There you go. There, you happy? Damn. Yes. I was just going to put the sound your bite grievous, in there. Your grievous impression. Please General be Kenobi! General Kenobi! You got to put some bass in well, it. I well, and I should have did Obi-Wan. Okay, let's redo it. <laughs> Hello there. General Kenobi! See, they, see that? That sounds much better. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. But no, I don't have no facial hair. That's why he got no bass. I should... Hello there. General Kenobi. I shaved off my facial hair. I literally <laughs> shaved my goatee two days ago. All right. Why, why would you do that? And I'm sitting here growing up my beard. There uh, you go, see? I can't grow a beard. I'm going to stop looking like a 12-year-old Bernard. I can't grow a beard. I've been saying it. I can't get grow it, a beard. Get it together. Grow something. Yeah, for real. I, I, look. I got sick and tired of like upkeep, so I shaved it off. I'll deal with it when it grows back. Look, yo, yo, okay, so look, in, in, in our face's natural state, this is it. Okay, you're supposed it naturally comes out. You're the unnatural one here, Bernard. I'll take that. Hey, that just means I'm gonna have my hair longer, baldy. Ah, uh, my hair is. I'm bald by choice. B- all right, bro. Sir? Do I really need to post the photos of your hairline going back over the years? I don't know what you're talking about. I got several it? photos of you with hair, and it starts to drip, drip, drip to the I back. I don't think it does actually. I okay. just thought, you know what? Let me do a change, and you know, it came out sexy. All Ten right, 10 years later. Look, my wife likes my hair. Thank you very much. The way it is, you, 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 as much yo, he's in as much denial as Zach was originally. <laughs> Shout out to Zach, Zach, who. Zach is another one of our follically challenged friends. I don't know. All right. But yeah, so they dropped the trailer coincidentally on a Wednesday. Obviously, that was intentional. But so good. So good. Yeah. I really thought this was going to like debut like next year or something, but it's literally coming in the fall. Yeah, man. I'm hyped. So I am definitely going to binge this. It's it's a um it's a whole series. I thought yeah. Was- yeah. No, it's a series. Okay gonna yeah. be really good like i love the trailer like she she spot on like wednesday yeah and it's crazy to believe that's the same girl from scream yes and i have a theory about she's her. also next i don't know what that is that that a24 movie by uh Carl oh okay Lincoln. yeah I, I can't remember the director i think it's on hbo max now with everything else yeah mm. why well, if it's on hbo max why, do yourself a favor Watch X. It's so good. If you want a slasher flick that's just going to shock the hell out of you, go watch X. X. Hmm. All right. So one of the other things that came out, um, Samira, I'm pretty sure you're watching it. I mean, you already watched it. Chris, I mean, I'm, I know you finished it. Chris, did you watch The Sandman on Netflix? No, I haven't actually. Oh. Um, also go watch that. It's really was good. that good? Yes. I, I wasn't feeling it. It was like, I was feeling it. it's really good. It's 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 got a nice vibe to it. It's very slow. It's not <laughs> slow, it's got a nice vibe. Okay. It knows its, it's pacing is real good. Look, I know Chris's <laughs> taste in movies. <laughs> oh. You start to break up what? Tell me what it's about because I never got it's it. literally about Morpheus, who is the god of dreams, and like some people in a cult, more or less, capture him for like what over a hundred years. Yeah, and basically it left. They him. take his shit and he got to get it back. Uh, uh, that's the first few, the first part of the series. It's and like basically the first he has five to, episodes. Yes, he, he has to refine his tools, reconnect with himself, and kind of just, it, it's really good and reconnect with uh, his purpose and who he is. 
It's really good. And oh, there's yeah. a lot of very colorful side characters along the way. Watch the first couple of episodes, Dan. Like, we're going to have you back. I don't care if you got a recorded video just saying, Samir, shut up. That show was whack because <laughs> we need that. But anyway, uh, Netflix dropped like two more episodes, surprisingly. Like, they dropped yeah. two Sandman specials. I haven't had a chance to watch them yet, but yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, one was, was it, a... Was it an all-black cast in one of those episodes? Did they flip it, or was that just like a meme that I saw? That, that might have been a meme. Okay. I think so, yeah. Yeah, because one of the episodes is animated, and I think the other one is just, um, you know, the original cast. Okay. But, yeah, so guys, if you like the Sandman, go check that out. Because you're going to be surprised when it comes back up in your, um, what's the crap called? Continue playing queue on Netflix. But so, uh, can we go a week without talking about this person? Who's this? Person? Ezra Miller. What, what did they do now? So, Ezra Miller. Oh, the apology, right? Yes, has issued an apology and says that they are seeking treatment for complex mental health issues. So this is- Nobody is buying that. Okay, let me let me finish. You're breaking up again, Chris, what? A little bit too late for that. They should have been did this. Yeah. So, okay, this is the apology. Having recently gone through a time of intense crisis, I now understand that I am suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment. I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe, and productive stage in my life. So we said this last week that Warner Brothers was considering three things. One was having him issue an apology and seek treatment. Two, uh, still release the movie with limited interaction with him and recast. And three, Scrap the movie. I said they should have scrapped it, Chris. You actually commented on our Facebook page. I can't remember what you said exactly, but I think you said throw the whole movie away as well or something like that. I said that they should just keep him. Oh, yeah, keep him. Motion and then recast him after the movie. That's what I. Yeah, they- apparently. Look, here, here's the thing. So the flat, the problem is if, if every other film that they were putting out was good, I would agree with that. The issue is the, all the other films are trash. We got Black Adam coming out, looks which looks really good. And Does it, supposed, it? It looks good like so like I, I I I don't know if it's just because I'm older, but I don't think I'm a fan of The Rock anymore. Wow. I think The Rock is just. I think he, I think it's just because he does so much on social media. I'm gonna have to unfollow him. Yeah. Okay, so look, I would say in his, in his at this point in his career. He's actually a different person every role he's in. Is he? Most of them. He, no. Yeah. <laughs> the Rock has been the same person since Fast Five. Okay, I didn't watch. I didn't watch Red Notice. Was he Hobbs in Red Notice? I didn't watch Red Notice yet. Chris, was he Hobbs in Red Notice? The movie uh, he did with Ryan Reynolds on Netflix. No. Uh, no, exactly. It was a different character. I mean, oh, okay. He was a cop. It was a twist. He was he, Hobbs. He was Hobbs. He was. I'm lying. I'm lying. He, he, it's like he plays the same role all the time, and it's like it's always, it's always the same thing. Like we know, and stuff like that. Like he tries to be Arnold Schwarzenegger and you know, um, Stallone and stuff like that, but it doesn't work for him. It's like, yeah. If you think about it, he did go the Arnold Schwarzenegger route. Arnold Schwarzenegger came out overrated. Yeah, he came out with all those action movies, did a couple kids movies, and went right back to action because everyone seems to forget Kindergarten Cop. My favorite. Yeah. Last favorite. action hero. And last My action hero. And The Rock did the Two Fairy and the game plan and Race to Witch Mountain. My, I, like, My, I like Race to Witch Mountain. Oh, don't forget Journey 2. I love Walking Oh, yeah. Movie Walking Rock. Tall. Hey. Walking Tall was a good movie. It, hey, it, it kind of wasn't, but <laughs> well, it was good at the time. It's like, okay, so going off topic. Okay, let's just wrap up this Edward Miller crap. Then we're just gonna say like our top five rock movies. So hopefully they get the help they they need. And if something else happens, I I I think they just might gonna scrap the movie. I'm like I I think this. I honestly think this apology is BS. Obviously, their publicist wrote it, and you know they're just trying to save face. 
But my whole thing is since they pushed back um Black Adam and they pushed back um Shazam. Why don't they just push um uh bring the flash back like to like November or December? Well, just- because they um they did some reshoots over the summer, so they have to fix all that in post production and Black Adam is you know, Bro, coming out. They in were November. planning shoots around his 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 foolishness. Yes. Like he would get arrested in between shoots. It was, yeah. it was crazy. So like when the first crap happened in Hawaii, like in May, they were like, okay, yeah, you got to come back to wherever we're shooting. All right. Shot came back to Hawaii, threw a chair at somebody. I think went to go back and do some more shoots. Then the whole, you know, breaking into somebody's house and stealing liquor situation. They just pushed this movie back way too many times, man. Way too many times. But yeah. It's just my Batman bias. Like, I really want to see Michael Keaton. So I'm kind of. I, I, the I can take it or leave it. You know me and nostalgia. Yeah. Okay. So, quick question, Chris. Would you have watched the Batgirl movie if it came out? Because Keaton nope. was in that. Nope. Nope. What happened? To, I want to see Michael Keaton. I want to see Michael Keaton, but, you know. I know you probably have lady fans, so I'm not gonna go too deep. You don't care about that girl? I'm not. I'm not a. Fan. No, it's not that. It, I wasn't. I wasn't a fan of the choice. Oh, what's her name? Grace. Um, Leslie Grace. Leslie Grace. I was not a fan of her. The choice. Um, I just wasn't too thrilled about it. It wasn't something that was on my list to watch. Okay. That's understandable. So it wasn't a surprise to me that they decided to pull it because. Who was checking for it? It was already done. It was done. Yeah, it was pretty much like 80% done. They was was finishing up the post-production. It was ready to go. No, I mean like in all in all, I'm saying that's including the post-production. Yeah, they didn't test well. So what you want? It tests. Go back and reshoot stuff. That's usually what happens when a movie doesn't test well. Also, they they released other stuff that was pretty shitty. Why would they do that for HBO Max? If it was the th- if it was theater, fine, cool, whatever. Like Shazam, like the second one. I wasn't a fan of this first one, but I think they're doing reshoots on the second one, right? They already did them. They did them already? Yeah, that movie's already done. That didn't test well neither. The first Shazam was good. I hated it. I told you, Chris, I, that's what I'm saying. You, Chris ain't going like saying that. DC, DC has... DC has... DC has a bunch of hitter, uh, misses than hits. Yes, a, way, a lot. And I really feel like Black Adam is going to be the next miss. Mm. But yeah, so uh, top five rock movies. Who wants to go first? Ugh, top five rock movies. All right, Fast Five. Okay. And then... <sighs> you looking at rock five. movies? I yeah. might have to. Okay. Okay. So my... Go ahead, Samir. Well, both y'all Googling. I mean, my- Moana. Okay, so Moana, Fast Five. What else you got? Walking Tall is my top. Is my first. All right, Chris got Walking Tall. Okay. He was in... Damn, but he didn't have no... Okay. The- what were you going to say? Why did I get married too? Nah, no. He was in that? <laughs> he had a no. cameo. The Mummy Returns. Really? Yeah. My guy. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, Guess you got. Okay. Someone. Okay. So this is the thing. A live action rock at the beginning. Cool. CGI rock. No. Like PlayStation 2 graphics. Why not say the Scorpion King at least? Yeah. Oh, the Gridiron Gang. I love okay, that. Gridiron Gang. Yeah. So nope. you got, you got Walking Tall, The Mummy Returns. You ain't gonna say Jumanji? Gang. What about Jumanji? Get get smart. Get smart. Okay, that's four for Chris. Samir hey, Skelet, two. I said Jumanji. Okay, you got Jumanji. So three and three. What'd you say? Uh, I mean three and four. What was your last one, Chris? The game plan. You get the game plan. Okay. I'm surprised you threw a Disney yeah. movie in there. Well, Samir threw a Disney movie in there too. Yeah. All right, Samir. I mean, Baywatch was kind of. Oh, you know what? Okay, oh, I know it wasn't that good of a movie. Hercules was pretty good. Hercules was good. What are you talking about? Oh no, it was it was okay. I think me and you went to go see Hercules. We did. It, we had a good time. Yeah, before Brett Ratner became an abusive piece of shit. He was always abusive piece of shit. I mean, before we found out. Uh, you got one more, Samir. Oh, 
the other guys. Does that count? No, really. no. Like five minutes. <laughs> it's literally five minutes in. He dies. Spoiler alert for what eight year old movie? It's the more than eight. That movie was good though. It's but twelve. Yeah. So, so pick again. Uh, I did not care for Pain and Gain. It wasn't that good of a movie. Oh, that was a terrible movie. I like Pain and Gain. It's not in my top five though. Oh, God, ugh. ugh. Fighting, fighting with my family doesn't count. I mean, yeah, because he was only in that movie for all of ten minutes. Oh, Jungle Cruise was pretty um, interesting. Jungle Cruise was good. Oh I, it was God. a weird cast. Y'all killing me right now. The Jungle Cruise was good. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty enjoyable. Okay. So you got a fifth one, or is that your fifth? That was it. Okay, so I'm going to go with Fast Five, Faster, Ugh. the the Rundown. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Um. Walking Tall. Honestly, I don't even think I have a fifth. I'm going to have to look at his filmography real quick. Damn, no, you, you say Fast Five? I said Fast Five. Oh, okay. All right. Dwayne oh. Douglas Johnson. Wow, okay. The whole, the, his, his whole government, huh? It's on Wikipedia. It's not like I revealed, you know, top secret news. I did not know that his middle name was Douglas. No, you didn't go to Wikipedia? I probably didn't even check for that. What was Snitch about? No one saw Snitch and went straight to DVD. <laughs> I know it was in the movies for like a couple weeks. It was? Yeah, it was. Oh. Um, it, I think his son got into some craziness and to get his son out of um, jail or whatever, he had to infiltrate the organization that put his son in jail something like that oh, okay. okay so central intelligence um what the fuck is this central intelligence central intelligence. the one with him and kevin hart oh no no okay so oh that was kind of funny someone yeah. please tell me why is pirates of the caribbean six on his filmography on wikipedia and it says he's playing jack sparrow <laughs> i'm not making this up that is this like? Hang on, I'm gonna see. I gotta see. If there's a site for that. Uh, this, somebody put that. In, so hold on, they might have signed no. it though. Yeah, they inside the magic.com says Dwayne Johnson will replace Johnny Depp in Pirates of the. Well, it says reports. So, yeah. Inside I, the magic though. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never even heard of that site. That sounds like some clickbait crap. Got to put a virus on your computer. That I don't think they would ever do that. Look, yeah. they need to let pirates die. All right, because they're not gonna let pirates die. They are not going to let pirates die. They nah, will... this might—I might sound like a broken, a broken. Uh, I was—I've never watched the pirates movies. Really? I got okay. We've gone over this before. I've gotten all my information: the Pirates of the Caribbean from Kingdom Hearts two and three. No way. I think I saw the second one. Was that the one where he ended up in Davy Jones' locker? Yeah. So yeah, I saw the second one, and I saw bits of the third one. So I never saw the first one. I never saw the fourth or fifth one. I was like, maybe I'll watch them after this trial, and I still haven't gotten around to it. But then again, there's a bunch of stuff I haven't gotten around to watching. Like the dirt. All right, well. Or Red Notice. The dirt, is that the... The, the, the uh, Motley Crue movie. It sucked. Okay, I mean, good grief. All yeah, right. I mean, I, I think I'm not going to watch that one because, you we know, need I, to move I, on. I don't really rock with Machine Gun Kelly anymore. That Machine Gun Kelly. That part. All right. <clears throat> Samir, what you got? All right. So, um, talk. Don't just look out this and you, into the darkness. There's two of y'all. I know, but you like, all right. So, I'm for the topic. All right. So, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, Hogwarts Legacy has been delayed to February 10th, 2023. My guy. We What's talked that? about that last week. Did we? I'm yes. still, I'm still you traumatized. You opened that last week's note, notes. Oh, that's fine. I got to scroll up. But it's still, I'm still traumatized about it. It's, it sucks. It's All fine. right. Scott, <laughs> so uh, Star Wars Visions Volume 2 is expanding past anime. And we have, and they'll have studios uh, from such countries or continents, I should say at this point, because Africa is a continent. Uh, countries like Chile, uh, England. Chile. Uh, Chile. 
uh, Ireland, uh, France, India, and so forth. So I think that's pretty cool. We're going to get a, a much more uh, uh, diverse uh, palette of art. Animation. You know, and animation. So I'm excited. Because if you haven't seen Star Wars Vision, it was so good. I haven't watched it yet. What are you waiting on? I literally said I'm behind on a bunch of stuff. What would do with you? You just fill in at everything. Look, I got 58 million jobs, okay? And like 58.990. No, I had I had a nine I, I had of them to say about that, but I'm not gonna deal be with this podcast. Either. Yeah, don't be toxic like everybody on the internet uh review bombing she hope before the episode even came out. How that makes sense. The CGI was terrible. It that, wasn't. <laughs> What it was actually think? pretty good. We go. We look. Look. Pause. <laughs> pause. We will get to that in a second. We we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Chris hasn't watched it yet. What? Chris is, Chris is still going off that initial uh, spoil trailer. Spoil it for me, please. I don't oh. care. All right, listen. We're, All right, we're, okay. We're, we're gonna, gonna spoil we're it. Gonna, we're gonna review day day ship, and then we'll go right into our review of of She Hulk. So, well, we still got like four more stories at least yeah, to get through. We do. All right. So, a show I watch on the CW. Go ahead and say it, Samir. The Blinds versus the Dead. Yes. So, <laughs> Jordan Elsass from Superman and Lois. Who Why plays, are they going? I'm, I'm curious. Um, who, who plays Jonathan Kent has decided to exit the series. They didn't necessarily explain why. He just said he, that he was ex- exiting for personal reasons. Like, a lot of people are throwing rumors out that, oh, you know, it's COVID uh, uh, vaccines or some reason like that. But keep in mind, they yeah, shot season yeah. two last year. He might have a death in the film. He's shite. Like, why do people got to be so accurate yeah. about it? Is a lawsuit coming? Usually when you hear stuff like that, something's coming. You think so? Because yeah. people have left shows for personal reasons. Um, The no. last one I watched, uh, I'm probably the only one in this um, podcast right now who watches it, Walk on the CW. Um, The chick who played his partner, Lindsay Morgan, she was also on the 100. She left the show after, like midway through season two for personal reasons. It, she didn't get sued yet or anything like came out. I think she just wanted to take a break from acting and, and I don't know what's going on with him. I'm going to try to like keep an eye on this story, but whatever. whatever Did they the replace person, her character? Yes. They didn't recast. They just replaced her. So I mean, are they going to replace him? Yes, they're going to replace him because you can't. You know, um, well, they're going to recast him, but, you know, you can't, you know, replace one of Superman's sons. Like, oh, what happened to Jonathan? I don't know. We're going to adopt this other kid. Yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah, that it wouldn't make sense. Always recast. We're not yeah. going over this again, okay? Yeah, we are. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Is this Black are. Is this um Black Panther? Yes. I mean, okay, yeah. it's too late now. Exactly. It's too late now. <laughs> but, when yeah. it, okay, look, may he rest in peace, rest in yeah. power. But when oh, it initially Lord. happened, it, it, I think the whole landscape of the MCU would have been totally different if they were just recasted the, the actor, you know, did all the did all the accolades and all the memorials as they should, and then just recast them with the next talented young man to play the role. All yeah. right. I, I just don't like the idea that they have a character that's been around since the 1960s, but this but an individual as talented as he was only played him for like four times. And then and all gotta, four times was amazing. That ain't, that ain't the point. That okay, the point. He getting lit- Chadwick Boseman was literally lightning in a bottle. It's not going to happen again. It is. There's seven billion Boyega people on the planet. Black- Eight billion people on the planet. John right. Boyega, Black Panther. I'm saying that now. John uh, Boyega- I, I, I think that's a miscast. Look, I all- hold on. Wait, I didn't hear what you said. You were breaking up. I said John Boyega for Black Panther. No, too he short. don't even want to do Marvel movies. I'm too short. He's too short. Samara's got a thing with height. I don't have a thing with height. I don't have a a height problem. Anybody who could be close to being in Black Panther, you already put him in the movie. The issue is, the issue is, you're thinking thinking of uh, already popular uh, widespread actors. Just go in there, do a wide casting call, discover somebody, okay? Okay. And then, there you go. So, I'm going to tell you what would happen. For starters, the backlash would not end on on Twitter, Instagram, all the social media platforms. Everyone's going to be like, who is this guy? How dare they recast T'Challa? Yeah, you got like a small group of people like you saying recast T'Challa, but it's not going to happen because that person is going to probably get bullied to the point where they quit the film. And then the movie will bomb. 
You think look review at- bombing on She-Hulk is bad? If they look- recast T'Challa? Look no. at what they said when they cast Ben Affleck as Batman. Look at what they said when they casted um, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Like, no, none of these people, like, were praised at all. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. was movie. a little bit more divisive. Until they like saw the half movie. the people agree with him, half it didn't. Because like, oh, he could be Tony Stark. You know, Tony Stark's an alcoholic. Robert Downey Jr. had a drug problem, but everyone hated Ben Affleck, and that's primarily because of the movie Samir hates. Tell and, us, and he was one of the best Batman's. There, yeah, what, what movie are you talking about? What movie are you talking about? Daredevil. Oh, well, okay. And here's the problem: the average moviegoer is dumb. Okay, yes, Ben. Uh, uh, Damn, you're just gonna talk about all our audience. Daredevil is terrible. It's a terrible <laughs> film. Okay, but guess what? An actor can be in a terrible film and a good film. All right, it, it heavily depends on the screenwriter, on the on the director, okay, on the producer, on what they decide they want to see in the film. Post editing, all that, all these moving parts decided the movie's gonna be good. You can have a knockout performance, have great lines, and the movie still be bad. Okay, okay and you I'm gonna shut down your argument right now. You uh, think people care about directors, writers, and editors? They just they care do. about they just care about the actor. They're like, you know oh, what? Ben Affleck. Oh Everybody. God, he was in but Daredevil. But and the he's reason Batman? why you like the actor is because of those two those I get that. aspects. I okay? get that, but you know, the general consensus is you know, the actor makes the character. Uh oh, crap. What, what were those two brothers that directed of uh, uh that film? Who who directed uh the book of Eli? With um with uh, Denzel Washington, Eli. uh I don't remember them people. Not the uh, Eli. Um the uh damn, I just watched the book of Eli. Uh the what you call it brothers, the right, uh, they're brothers. Yes, not the Cohen brothers. No, not damn it. I, I got I'm it. Googling right now. The book no. of Eli 2010. Two brothers, the Hughes brothers. Right. He, I knew I knew it was the Hughes brothers. Okay, so yeah, the Hughes brothers. All right, so the book of Eli isn't that really a good movie. It has good lines. It has good actors, okay? It has a kind of a good setup. There is one stellar scene in that movie. The, movie, the scene, well, actually, it's a couple stellar scenes. There's a couple stellar scenes in that movie. But one in particular, Josh my draw. Do you remember the uh, the scene where they shoot him in the stomach? Vaguely. Yeah. I'm going to have to rewatch that movie. It, that was the only time I ever saw something like that done in film. That film technique they did where the, the, the time stopped and then it sped up to catch up with the, the moment because she was in shock. That was a cool scene. And the director thought of that. Directors. That was dope. Damn, did, they have, have, did they have a falling out? They don't even direct movies no more. They don't went they separate ways after the book of Eli. They separate. They separate. That was the last movie they did together. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that movie, that movie killed careers. All right. They anyways. didn't kill careers. They done stuff individually. Like um, one of them did the good Lord Bird on Showtime. It was that Ethan Hawk series. He also did that movie Alpha. Um, the other one did Broken City and with the Wolves? Yes, Alpha with the Wolves, yes. In the, the in cartoon? That, no, no, this was a live action movie that came out in like 2018. Oh, the no Alpha. I, I saw that. You saw yeah. that? Yeah, in theaters. It was okay. No, you're thinking of Alpha Dog, Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. and the other one did um he did the Defiant ones. It was that uh documentary about Dr. Dre and um That was a good doc. What's the white dude? Jerry Ivy. No. Uh I thought it was Jerry Ivy. You said Jerry Ivy? Yeah. Not Jerry Iveen. Jimmy Iveen. Okay. He's Jimmy Iveen, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. The point is... We all got off subject. There, there I don't even remember what movie, the hell we were talking about. There's a Dude. lot of moving parts to a major motion picture, and least of all is the lead actor, because a, a mediocre actor can, can, can still be supported by those other things, and it will come out okay. Case in point, I will always bring this guy up as a perfect example of this. Sam Worthington is not a good actor. Oh, he is, shit, here we he go. He is acceptable. He is acceptable yes. in Avatar. Oh, he's, he's terrible. Okay? He's, he's terrible, terrible, but he is acceptable in Avatar. Why? Because the film carries him, okay? He got supporting actors that, that are better than him. He got a good director that, can, that, 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 that props him up, okay? And in the special effects, all right? So all that makes Sam Worthington acceptable in Avatar, okay? Plus the fact that he only got, out. like, 10 minutes of live action, you know, no, because no, 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 the mocap is amazing. I know the mocap. I'm just talking about him as a person. Don't matter. It the seems to me like it's amazing in that movie. It's still you in there. 
All right, I your get expression that. still come up. So not all Zoe Saldana is Zoe still Zaldana killed. killed it. And if you and if you ever realize, everyone always posts that clip of Zoe going off. You don't see any clips of Sam Worthington going off. Why? Because he can't act with his face. Oh, he can. He he has some expressions in that movie. Again, Shit. because he that's has a good, good director. Yeah, that's and also because of CG. And nah. he <laughs> any other good movie besides yeah. that. Terminator oh, no. Salvation sucked. Man he's on trash. the Ledge sucked. I, he's definitely um, Chris. He's what's the, trash. What's, I'm not what's the crap? To him. What's the crap you dragged me to go see? Um, the remake. Um, um, they I did two of them. You to see the um, what? what? Clash of the Titans. Oh, first off, nigga, you came up with that. You wanted to see that movie. I did not want to see that movie. All right, the first one has some cool special effects, but that not nah, they were trash. Those, those two movies were trash. Just watch the original. I hope you didn't watch the second one. No, it was awful. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, Samir, give us, give us one more story, then we can get into our review of Day Shift. Okay. Uh, where we at? Okay, so. You the... really got to learn to talk instead of just, like, talk looking Talk at what I think we should talk about next. So, uh, Gotham Nights is officially gold for its uh, October 25th release. Can you tell the people what that means? It mean gold means that the game is uh basically in post production and they're wrapping it up and it'll be and it's on schedule to be released on this date of the October twenty fifth. Also, okay, um, because you when you when you posted, I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? I'm thinking like sales. I'm like the the game not even out yet. So also, Discovery Plus and HBO Max is cleaning house and pulling off a lot of original content that one of us put. I don't understand what they're doing. Okay, so the thing with that is they're pulling off stuff that no one's watching. So I can get uh, that. It's th- taking people are watching Infinity Train. I mean, I've never even heard of the show until I saw it in there. So yeah, they're, they remove, they are removing 36 titles. And they're all HBO Max. Um, well, not all of them, but here's... A, okay, I'm going to go over the list, okay? All right, so tell me if you saw any of these. I'm going to start with the HBO Max originals. 12 Dates of Christmas. About last night. At first, I thought that was the... uh, Kevin Hart movie? That one or the original, because that's a remake. Uh, Really? Yeah. Uh, John Cusack's in the original one. Hmm. Um, um, Aquaman, King of Atlantis. I think you watched that because I vaguely recall you talking about it on the pod, Samir. They watched that? They took that off? low viewership uh close enough that is something i was very interested in because i saw an ad for it on tbs but then i was like eh, not really it's it's actually really funny all right uh ellen's next great designer pass esme and roy don't even know what that is the fungies pass generation hustle uh, i think that was like another reality show like they're really getting rid of like all the reality stuff generation i think that was supposed to be like their bootleg version of the l word um, Infinity Train, Little Ellen, My Mom, Your Dad, Odo, uh, Ravi Patel's Pursuit of Happiness, Summer Camp Island, The Not Too Late Show with Elmo, The Runaway Bunny, Theodosa, Tig and Seek, Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs. So out of all those, those are HBO Max originals because I still got stuff from Cartoon Network. I don't know why they couldn't keep those on there, though. Like I said, low viewership, man. Maybe they're just trying to purge the um, servers. I don't know. All right. So they had um, two HBO original shows called, uh, one was called My Dinner with Herb or Hervé, I don't know. And another one was called Share, um, like sharing something, not, you know, share the uh-huh. even life after love or, you know, whatever. Uh, the Cartoon Network series, Dodo, Elliot from Earth, Mau Mau Heroes of Pure Heart, Mighty Maga Swords, OK KO, Let's Be Heroes, Uncle Grandpa, Victor and Valentino. Uncle Grandpa? That sounds familiar, but I was thinking of Bad Grandpa or Dirty Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa, it's a stupid uh, cartoon show on the Cartoon Network. <laughs> okay, yeah, that look, does look familiar. And these are the acquired titles. Detention Adventure, Messy Goes Okido, Mia's Magic Playground, The Ali and Moon Show, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, Make It Big, Make It Small, and Squish. So how many out of all those titles... You probably watched what two Infinity Train and Uncle Grandpa, and close enough. Okay, three. Chris, did you watch any of those? Because you look confused. Like, I don't think I watched any of them except for maybe what's what's ugly ugly Grandpa, Uncle Grandpa. It's a cartoon. This is Network weird show. cartoon. Nah, I haven't watched that. Look, the point is, I don't look. They, I, like I said, I'm I'm wary of anything they do because I don't trust a new CEO. I'm gonna say it. I'm biased. F that guy. 
All right. My next, uh, hang on, next scatter shot we're doing here. Enola Holmes is getting released. Uh, Enola Holmes 2 is getting released on uh, Netflix on November 4th. I'm excited about that. I am definitely going to watch it. I enjoyed the first one. Chris, did you watch um, Enola Holmes with Henry Cavill and uh, Millie Bobby Brown? And Ooh. and Sam, uh, what was the guy's name from uh, from uh, Outlander? Sam something? I don't know. You watch uh, Outlander. It um, canceled that series. No, that's a, just a movie. Yeah, it did well. Mm-hmm. Enola Holmes, you know, um, Eleven from Stranger Things. Yeah, anything Millie Bobby Brown touches is gonna be gold for right now. Except for now. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. That did well. That did numbers. Mm. No. I'm, well, I, the first one is good. Oh, I forgot Helena Bonham Commerce Finance is in there. That lady. Oh yeah. Crazy. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. And uh and uh Kena Bridge of Spirits is coming to Steam and uh is also getting major updates, including a new game plus mode. So that sounds fun. So basically Samir's gonna hack the game and um you know, beat it in all of two days. Bernard is salty because he doesn't own any of his games. Samir, I own all of my games. Do I you think, physically... Why can't you mod them? Why can't you mod them? I don't need to mod my games. The same it way I don't matter. need to mod my Do phone. You want to mod your games? Why no. can't you mod them? Hey, no. You mod the software, but you can't mod the software. Okay. Why can't you mod the so, software? Because what's the point? Because you want them. It's yours. Why can't you look? I buy a house. I can paint the house. I can gut the kitchen. Okay. Not I if can... you want an HOA. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You gotta go. It's possible, possible within the bounds of your HOA. You can definitely gut the inside of your condo. Yeah, but we yeah. still, but we still gotta go through a list of licensed contractors. It don't matter. Yeah, so there are still rules. Yeah, there's still rules. Okay, then you got no, you got no recourse when you own your own console. Now let you uh, do nothing. Because I don't. What's the point? We don't need to do nothing. You do. Okay, so Chris. So you want to play Spider Man and Stan Lee? Yes, or or put a prop flag in the background because because of representation. Or There's play the game, a, play the game as Uncle Ben's tombstone. That is a choice. Someone really did that because I yes. saw the same. Okay, it's I dope. saw. It's I, awesome. I, I saw. I saw someone modded um them to play as Stan Lee. I saw the one modded as Kingpin. I saw like all the modded suits. So somebody really decided to do a mod to be Uncle Ben's tombstone. You know why? Choice. 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 (laughs) Choice. Okay? It doesn't matter if it it makes sense. It doesn't matter if it's smart or not. The point is someone chose to do that mod. I'm going to walk off. You know I'm right. You back. hate the internet. Back, you big baby. It's like really Uncle Ben's tombstone. (laughs) Uh, okay, so the end is nigh for the antiquated theater industry. Um, Regal so Cinemas. You're just going to take my story. Yeah, well, again. We, we, we try to move it on. We move it on. We move it on. So, Regal Cinemas owner of Cineworld is preparing to file bankruptcy within the next few weeks after the post pandemic return to cinemas didn't prove as profitable as expected. Because yes. of people like Samir. Kill the industry. I'm sorry. Stream everything. Because of Samir. Samir. Stream everything. I'm a movie Kill the- bro. Exactly, okay. same here. He said he's a movie goer. I'm sorry. I, I like staying home. I want to stream everything. Can't well. Nah. I, I'd rather pay twenty to thirty dollars so that eight people can watch the film as opposed to going to the theater, dealing with um price uh uh overpriced tickets and having to get sticky floors. You know, I don't want to do that anymore. Bro, when was the last oh, time the movie oh. theater floor was sticky? Uh, the last movie I saw. I, uh, nope. Nope. How was no? Nope it was, nope was great. It was good. It was we great. reviewed it. It was really good. It was really good. It was really good. It's, it's okay. So you liked Get Out, right? I did. You liked Us, right? Uh, kind of, sort of, a little bit. The last thirty minutes of the movie. Okay, so this is kind of like a little fusion between the both of those in like the simplest way possible. It's not quite horror, but there's a lot of suspense and there's a lot. Okay, so he 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 was right on the nose when he named it Nope, because when you watch this movie, you are definitely going to be going, Nope, hell no, nah, no, nope, not me. Was the acronyms um correct for the name of the movie? No. Okay. <laughs> That's just niggas nigging. 
Okay, that's what we do best. Yeah. All yeah. right, and uh, lastly, uh, Sony is developing a Days Gone film starring uh, Sam Hogan. Hugan. I don't know who Sam Hugan is, but I just say I think he's the guy from Outlander. Oh, he might be because you brought him up earlier. I yeah. just say get Sam Worthington. I mean, not Sam Worth. Sam Wood were to do it. I almost said Sam Worthington. No, we don't want him. Yeah, he's the guy from Outlander. Okay, yeah, but I say get Sam Whitworth. I mean, he already did the mocap and everything. Well, Sam Hugan, Sam Sam Hugan is a great actor. He's an amazing. And actor. so is Sam Whitworth. But does he look as attractive as Sam Hugan? He's the guy in the game. They but, literally put his faith on the character. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. He, he was um, he was on Supergirl. He was that one dude when they were kind of like um, um, they were kind of going Trumpers or against aliens. And I think I want to see Sam Hugan in that role. Fuck Sam Hugan. <laughs> Sam Whitworth all day. Darth Maul, nigga. The vampire from um, um, Being Human. Oh, US, yeah. US version. Oh. Being, also, the- also, Doomsday on Smallville. Ugh. Shut up. All right. So let's get into our view of, um, of Day Shift. Shift. Okay. So this film stars Jamie Foxx, the lovely... Uh, Megan Good. Um, Megan fine. Oh my gosh. The name, the last name is spot on because Megan do look good. She is fine. It's that nice she's getting work. I, I like that. And is Dave it? Franco. Um, also Snoop Dogg. Oh, and, he was in that. Yes. Yep. I cannot remember the lady's name, but she uh, played the head vampire. She's on a show with Topher Grace called Home Economics. I'm gonna look her up. Uh, I'm real quick. I think it's Carly Souza. Uh, Cause I like to give. Uh, oh, Carl, yeah, Carla Souza. And yeah, um, who else? Oh, Scott Atkins, Steve Howie, Chris. You watched um, Shameless, right? Yeah, that was Kevin. Remember with the um, the brothers? Really? Yeah. Damn, I didn't even realize it. Yeah, and Natasha Lou Bordizo. You know, yo, yo, lady Samir. My lady. Who, Yes, you don't remember who Natasha um Sabine Wren? Oh, she's gonna okay. be Sabine Wren on um Ahsoka. Oh, I'm yeah, I guess she's my lady. Yeah, I don't, and I was like, I know she looked familiar because I follow her. I mean, on she ain't her. my lady. I don't know her like that. I mean, I'm yeah. excited to see. I'm excited to see her in an upcoming role for playing that character. I like. There I wish your wife was there to smack you in the head. Like, yeah, that's my lady. Uh, my wife isn't jealous, sir. So I'm just talking about. I don't know if she, I don't know. But yeah. yes, so. Don't try to get me in trouble. Okay, so the movie was the, directed by J.J. Perry in his directorial debut, and it was written by Tyler Tice and Shay Hayden, uh, based on a story by Tice. And Chad Stahelski, who is what the, I believe he's the writer for John Wick. Uh, I'm sorry, director of John Wick's chapter two and three, also uh, co-wrote on the film and produced. Yeah. Ooh. And oh. it's um it's met with pretty lukewarm reviews currently. Oh, it's sitting at go. a fifty six on you ready, Chris? Rotten Tomatoes with um, a sixty four percent on the audience side, uh, with a hundred and seven critic reviews. The consensus is the game game stars and game star. I'm sorry, game stars and appealingly goofy premise aren't enough to make up for Dacia's uninspiring uh, action comedy hijinks. Hmm. That is that is what the consensus is of critics, but yet, like Chris, we go off of audience scores, and you know, because right, not and I guess cheap. I guess movies don't have to make sense to you, bro. We watch a lot of movies that don't make no why sense. Would, why would it not? Why? why did we watch you? five Transformers movies. Yeah, they all trash, and, and, and in fact, Bumblebee was not like, trash. Eh, it was in a trash. You didn't even watch it. All it's a trash reboot. universe. For the first one, and even the first one was kind of yeah, like the first one is definitely trash. Look, oh no, no, you don't get to do that because you share something in the chat on Twitter. I still like Lincoln Park, so that's all I said. All right? <laughs> nah, you put the Listen, Optimus Prime quote here, in there as well. My, here's my gripe with this movie. All right, to stay on task. Here's my gripe. With Keep this in movie, mind, Chris. people. He did not watch the movie. Bro. I did not watch the movie. I'm gonna still say it. Right? Okay. So my problem was in the trailer, they didn't make it clear who the antagonist was. Okay, they have to. Of course they do. When you have a clear cut uh, a hero who you're trying to dress up in the in the in the case of uh, Jamie Foxx here, he's supposed to be the hero. I'm assuming that they didn't sell him as the anti hero or or a villain. 
He looks like he's supposed to be the hero. He's just a man trying to provide for his family. Okay, and you're supposed to be able to back that. How am I going to back that when the trailer features him jumping into a woman's house and attacking her while she's unarmed? You come on. You knew what the trailer was. It is it showed why. It showed why. It showed that because she's a vampire. So yeah. because of what she was, you go kill her for what she was. This that sounds a little funny. racist. What? Part, my, See, the, what are you talking about? I've been telling somebody he's been a little too woke. He needs a little here's, bit of sleep. Here's the issue, Chris. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna make sense. I'm gonna make sense. Okay. So I oh, read shit, a, I read a lot of fantasy, all right, featuring vampires, other monsters, and things like that. And a lot of times they're either the main character, sometimes they're the, the supporting character, what have you. Okay. When you want a world build like that, okay, it's a good idea to make sure you give them motivations for what they're doing. So in this case, he didn't his, want his family, he didn't want his ex-wife right, and daughter so to move. I get it. So you murder, rape, pillage to feed your family. Is that what we're going with? Because they didn't show us what the vampires were doing. We're wrong. Okay? The entire film, and I saw reviews, and, I, and everyone's, everyone's um, the consensus is the problem with this movie. They did not show why the vampires were evil. They, they were just existing. Okay? And they, and so why the vampires were evil. Did they really have to show that, Samir? They did. Because unfortunately, in this day and age, in 2022, people are a little more understanding. So just because something isn't human... People look more understanding of vampires. Yes. Okay, look, we have we have Interview the Vampire, we have Twilight, we have Vampire Diaries, we have Bro, Blue Blood. nobody knew who, who that they were vampires in Twilight except for Bella. She didn't even tell her daddy. The point is, all these properties show vampires as people who have varying degrees of alignment. Some are evil, some are good. They choose who they are. They're people. Who are these guys in this movie to just dictate who's evil and who's good and run up in someone's house and blow their brains out? We do not know who that lady was and what she did. All he always saw was him breaking into a woman's house and blowing her brains out. Tell me, make it make sense. And then, did they ever say what she did in that movie? Yes, Samir. What did, they, what did, what did she do? What did she do, that lady? What do you mean, what did she do? He didn't yeah, watch the movie. Besides existing, please tell me. Sell this movie to me. Vampires in the movie are all bad. How? Yeah. How? What did they do? They kill us. Do they? Yes. yes. Did they show that? Yes. Yes. Okay, hang on. <laughs> from what I understand, what I understand, the only person who was murdered on screen by a vampire was the pawnbroker. Am I wrong? No. No, I'm not wrong, right? The it's only not. man, the only man who was murdered and drained of his blood, possibly in the film, was the pawnbroker who that deals not, in vampire teeth, right? That was not the only one. They who killed was, everybody else in the pawn shop as well. Samir, you should watch it. I'm not he ain't gonna watch it. it. He's not gonna watch it. It's it's 56 <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. So, That's his only logic. It's 56. So addition, and here's the problem. Here's the here's the kicker. All right, there was his neighbor, the lady who was chilling was a vampire who was nice, who wasn't evil, apparently. So there is a precedent for vampires who choose to chill and the vampires who choose to do bad things. How you do you tell them apart? That, that showed all the, the spoilers and you read it and now you're trying to react off of it. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to understand why this movie's good. I know why the movie's bad. He sound like the read. people who review Bomb She Hope. Not true. Because she there was no there's no press, there's no reason for Bomb She Hope, all right? This movie Clearly has um um uh, uh, uh writing issues. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, it's a vampire movie. What more do you want from it? I, I, I watch. I watch a lot of vampire fiction. I consume a lot of it, sir. Okay. Samir, I keep telling you, everything doesn't need to have like an over expansive, mind blowing plot. Need tell, you need to be able to tell who the protagonist is and who the antagonist is. We know who the protagonist is. No, I saw the protagonist man, is Jamie Foxx. The antagonist are the vampires. A man kills a woman's daughter. Woman t- spends the whole movie trying to avenge her daughter. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so here's another here's another issue. Here's another issue. Let's he, he, cha- let's change it all. Chris, let's change it. Let's turn ah, all the vampires, go. let's turn all the vampires black and all the hunters white. Does this movie look good now? No. No, it don't because it looks a little slanted and weird because there's no they, they just run around being judged during an executioner. I don't know. They should have made a clear distinction why the vampires are bad, like Blade. Blade is a perfect example. The opener of that movie, they lure a man to his death. They show you why they're bad in Blade. Blade won. And don't forget, Blade only also said the only good vampire is the dead vampire. Oh, yeah. I got, I got issues with Blade, too, as a character. He sucks. But at least the movie... Let's not do this. We're no. Not- 
We're not we're, doing it in there. We're not doing we're not, what? We're not doing what? You're saying that Blade is a bad character? Oh, yes. I, for the same reason this oh, movie is. Shit. Here we go. Oh, my I'm sorry. God. So, again, if you, <laughs> and again, in the Marvel Universe, there are vampires who choose to be good and choose to be bad. All right, who is ready? this man? <laughs> I'm sorry. Chris, you ready, you ready, you ready for like a 10 year old uh, comic book reference? Here no. it goes. Okay, go. Look, <laughs> go. Right, look, 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 look. So he's hanging out with the with the uh, MI 13, which they're, they're, the, they're the British Avengers, essentially, right? And there's this character, Spitfire, who's on the team, okay? She has superhuman speed and a bunch of other abilities. She's also a vampire. Lady is a hero. She wakes up every day to save people. This man, because she's a vampire, wants to stake her. She's like, hey, how you doing, Blade? Here you go. She goes to shake his hand. Super nice and outgoing lady. Stabs her because she's a vampire. That really did happen. I have the comic book. F Blade. All right, no, F that. No, that's exactly what happened. What I happened said that really movie? happened. I have the comic. Okay. F Blade. You only read that comic because of me. <laughs> also, also, all right, Curse of Mutants. All right, this is when the vampires attacked San oh, Francisco God. and the, the X Men had to repel the, the vampire invasion. Let's the day shift, man. Let's okay, get- fine. Okay, my point is, my point is, define your protagonist and antagonist, okay? World build correctly, all right? Show my point is, the movie was good, I enjoyed it, villains. and I was surprised that Chris liked it, because Chris why? don't be liking nothing. I, okay, and that's true, because here's my thing. Okay. Net movies, like exclusive Netflix movies, are not always great. They're not. Right? <laughs> the last Jamie Foxx movie, The Project Power, I hated that movie. So I was a little bit skeptical. That so was I'm, good. <laughs> I'm about to you about to kill him. That was good. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they showed they, they they showed a clear line of who was the protagonist, who was the antagonist. They had great and actually, world building. Oh, and actually in that movie they tread they tread lines with that. You oh, they know. did. They did. They gave us nice because- gray antagonists. That's cool. You could do it correctly. All I'm right, gonna just sit back and watch y'all go back and forth because okay. this is and but this this movie, is this is the, this is the, just the heroes. This is excellent I'm content. Me, the pill popping movie with the chick rapping is a better is a good movie. You thought that was a good movie and knew what it was. That movie was bu- bullshit. Nah, it man, let, it was good. See, it led people on to think that it was good because you know the superhero genre and whatnot. But the movie was terrible. It didn't have nothing to go on. Now, Day Shift, on. Day Shift was a really good, well, let me not say really good. I think it's stretching it. It was a good movie. It was entertaining. And it wasn't bad at all. Like, it, it's a different spin on things. Like, he's taking out vampire teeth for money. Like, vampire yeah, I mean, is, as a union. Like, it's this original. That's you know? fine. But hey, let's replace the union with the clan and the vampires with the black people. And how 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 bad does that sound? They just run around killing people and they're not explaining it. They just hate vampires. Some years woke. I'm not woke. I just don't like films that don't clearly define their antagonist. That's why totally you bl- death. Why can't you just watch a movie and just know what this is? I've been it's telling like, him that for years. It's like beating a horse with a dead stick. Listen. are bad, and they're vampire hunters who have to go and hunt them and they collect their teeth for profit. The what issue I have know? the issue I have with this this storytelling model is you 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 plot them in the middle of the in, in the middle of the modern world, right? Now, if they would have made this in the modern day, I mean in the in the in the medieval times and they're running around oh. Oh, the peasants. That would have been fine. The or you wanted an origin story? I didn't need an origin story, but do it correctly. If you're gonna do it in modern day, make it. He, make want, he want the vampires to just be no, out running main, around killing. The main the lady. The main people. lady wants to build a real estate empire so vampires can live inside comfortably. That's your villain, and then she's mad because you kill her daughter. She no. sounds justified. No, that see, and that's why you should have watched it. What she did you do? Tell him, Chris. You, huh? I said, tell him, Chris. Yes, Get him, Chris. Real estate so they could have more vampires around to kill humans. It was not a village for vampires to live peacefully in harmony. Get him, Chris. Did they show this, though? Did they show Yes. This? Yes. Literally in the first five minutes of the movie. I don't know. Yeah, because you didn't watch it. That's why you don't That's know. Man, watch the freaking movie. If you're watching Project Power, you can watch this. Well, Project Power was much well received in uh, this movie. Like no, I said, it was not. 
It, no, no he not. goes off. Like I said, he goes off reviews. No, I don't know. So two years ago, Project Power came out to pretty again standard review. So we have wow, it's a sixty-one. The, it's audience, a freaking... the audience really hates this movie. I wonder why. <laughs> movies, I don't much like better, movies. much better cast. I don't know. I like Project Power. It was much more. It was, it was, in my opinion, much better than this movie. I like both. You never seen it. How can you say it's much better? Like I'm I not gonna you. waste my time on a project <laughs> that couldn't afford to get an above a sixty score on Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, Chris, you know the best thing about this? Local is gonna call me on Monday whenever he listens to the podcast. He's like, "Yo, Samir is an idiot. He he needs to I'm stop talking. I'm sorry. Look, he needs look. to stop listening. He needs to stop f- listen, listening to people on TikTok and just like watch I, something for TikTok. himself. I watch. I, watch, I, watch I know you watch the long form video. Here's, here's, on the problem, here's the problem I have with this. All right. If a movie doesn't go by word of mouth back in the day, if the movie didn't go by word of mouth, it doesn't get watched. If everyone says, yo, this movie's trash, don't go see it, it doesn't get watched. Why am I going to give this movie a chance when everyone's saying it's trash? Who is everybody? Look. Everyone's saying, right? Dude, it barely, it barely has above a 60 score on audience. Like, it didn't yeah. even please the audience with this movie. It's still higher than the critics' reviews of the Project crit- yeah, Power. The critics really shat on this movie. The point is, you you have mo- you have properties that are well-received, like what we do in the shadows, okay? Or, or critically acclaimed films like uh, Only Lovers Left Alive and other vampire properties that show vampires being regular people. If you're going to have vampires be the creature of your movie, which is good, I'm not saying you can't do that. Just make it a clearly defined thing. Make them monstrous. Make them evil. Don't make them a real estate tycoon that just wants to buy a property. That's just capitalism. Okay? It was, a spin. It was original. Look, all I'm saying is make them more monstrous. Have her eat a baby or something. All right? Just put it out wow. there. For she you. was going to kill his daughter. No, after he kills her daughter. He didn't know that was her daughter. Project. Pa- no, Project- he didn't. He, he saw a woman in the house and he shot her in the face with a shotgun. How's it? What kind of? You didn't see it. I saw it. I saw. I saw clips. Okay. To me, don't do that. You're an intelligent guy. Don't do that. I, I'm sorry, sir. Samir is not like a okay. If don't a movie's do not, don't I don't do even it. think he'll watch a movie that's a 59 on Rotten Tomatoes, and that's I have. So Project <laughs> was a 61 on Rotten Tomatoes, but yes. had a 46 audience score. Dave yes. Shipp- 56 Rotten Tomato score and a 64 audience score. So what are we talking about? You're talking about mar- marginally better movies. All right, it's, it's a marginally better movie. I'm still not going to watch. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. This movie is tonally deaf. Okay, tonally deaf. Yes, it, again, audience, this is coming from a guy who has not watched the movie. If I watch the movie, right. I guarantee you, it's not going to change my mind okay. because you, you can't. You can't, you you don't can't like tell it. me who they killed. The vampires didn't do anything wrong in this movie. Oh, okay, guys. Okay, okay. So let's let's put a pin in this. Samir, you didn't I'm watch the going movie. All night. Yeah, we're not gonna do this all night because I'm not gonna spend three. Bro, I'm not gonna bro, spend. Y'all all... told me the only man that killed was a pawnbroker. That and was the only every... person that killed. And everybody in the pawn shop. Okay, how many other customers were in that pawn shop? It wasn't the customers. It was the Asian guys. The the guards. They killed they the the um the workers were Asian. They killed them. So oh so basically the other workers who dealt in in, in vampire teeth. No the the okay the, how about this? They killed uh, Dave Franco. He ain't do nothing. He got bit. He didn't die. He. But he okay got, he he undead then. Okay. He got, He's still he dead. Still, he can he can still pay rent. He can still go to work. <laughs> he can still find he can still find love. He ain't dead. He still exists. He didn't, they didn't end him. They just changed him against his will. So that makes it wrong. But all of them need to die. You gonna you gonna run a business that runs around killing vampires? All of them, or just the one that, that got Dave Franco? All of them. Real quick, because Samir is on one. I'm just Samir's saying, always on one. I'm just saying. I don't like that premise. It's like you running around killing people based on what they are. That's what it sounds like. You're turning this into a racial thing, aren't you, Samir? Yes, he Vampires is. Vampires are a race, okay? Think of it that way. You're killing are... a group of people, a demographic, race. based on that demographic being that demographic. That sounds a little fishy, right? No, it doesn't. And, it, and, you're not, and you're not clearly defining what that demographic is doing, all right? That's what I'm saying. It sounds a little like boys in the hood to me. Clear, Samir, if you were to watch the movie. If I watch the movie, 
it's gonna look. I, I got other things to watch that are better than this. I'd rather rewatch a good movie. Yeah. Watch Project Power over again. I mean, I would. Joseph Gordon Levin did a good job in that movie. All right. So, Next. Chris, <laughs> since me and you were the only two to watch this movie, we're going to give it a review. Out of 10, what do you give this movie? I give the movie a uh, 7.5. Stop the cap. <laughs> DJ said you can't say cap. DJ ain't my father. What the hell? <laughs> he can say it all he wants, but still do it. <laughs> what? He the boss of me? What the hell? Who said, who said they can't say cap? Our friend DJ. He he oh. uh he wrote it in the group chat one time and it was just he was just like Samir don't say that you you seem weird saying cap. <laughs> Shout out yeah, to DJ. Um, seven seven point five. It was it was different. It was it was a surprisingly good movie. Was it the best movie? Was it the greatest movie? I say it was very entertaining for what it was, and yeah, I'd watch it again. Oof. Same score for me for the exact same reason. Whack. So, yeah, 7.5. <laughs> the Netflix movie, like, what are we talking about? Bro, no, nah, don't, don't slip on those, on those straight to streaming oh, movies. There's tons of good movies that go straight to streaming, okay? They're not, they're not a lot. There's, there's quite a few, actually. But Netflix? There's a couple of Netflix. No, he, yeah, but he specifically said Netflix. And, like, they're almost not- everything they released this year is hit or miss. And this year, probably. I'm trying to think of something. This year and last movie. year, like when they announced that whole to dumb rollout crap with like 64 original movies, it was just like I probably only watched like four. Hang on, we could pull this up. Netflix originals, bro. We're not doing this right now. We gotta, we gotta continue. All right, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go right. with, with She-Hulk. Yes. So, spoiler alert, guys. I, I really gotta get back into the habit of saying this. If you haven't watched She-Hope, stop listening to the podcast. I should have said it when we talked about Day Shift, but I will live and learn, right? So, She-Hope, episode one. Cannot remember the name of the title right now. Uh, I'm looking it up. All right. She-Hope, attorney at law. Episode one was titled A Normal Amount of Rage. There we go. Yes. So, this episode was directed by uh, Kat Corio. Our head uh, writer was Jessica Gao. Obviously stars Tatiana Maslany. Everyone knows her from Orphan Black. Mark Ruffalo, uh, Jamina Jamil, uh, Ginger Gonzaga. Can we talk about Jamila Jamil and how they did her dirty? She get more parts. She might have more parts. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's going to be in the season. Um, that better not be more. all of it, because they made a big deal about her being in this show. No. All right, so synopsis for this episode is Jen Walter's world is turned upside down after a freak accident leaves her with superpowers. So this show, before it even came out, was review bombed on IMDb. Um, but somehow, Incels, man. Incels. like a phoenix, it has risen from the ashes and has received a 7.0 out of 10 on IMDb. From, when, the, from the audience, yes. Yes, with 8,000, it might be 800,000. I don't know. It's an eight point. Oh, yeah. 8,183 reviews. You know how many people gave it one star? 1,094. You know how many people gave it 10 stars? 1,949. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant that I've been discussing since we first got a glimpse of this show. The CGI? <laughs> Correct, sir. As I said before, it improved. It looks on that, good now. On that original trailer, the CG wasn't done being rendered. They posted it because it was the Disney Investors Day. And sometimes they post stuff like that because they're afraid that people are going to leak it. That's why, like, if you try to, like, find stuff online, that's why they post, like, all. Okay. So, Chris, you remember back when the MCU was just coming into its infancy? So, let's say 2010. When Iron Man 2 was coming out, that may have been the first year that Marvel Studios was at Comic-Con and how many people leaked the Iron Man 2 trailer, okay. which, which forced them to upload it eventually after they got everyone else's scrap taken down. Okay. So that's why they put it out to avoid people, you know, recording it on their phones and posting it to YouTube like everyone else does. Like, you know how many clips I've seen of Ant-Man and the Wild Quantumania on YouTube and Reddit and everywhere else in between? Uh, a lot? Yes, a lot. So 
they posted they even said on i think their twitter page this is not the final product this is just what is done for now we know we obviously have to polish the cg they polished the cg and it looks amazing and it's like the other thing people post screenshots of trailers when you screenshot anything, a photo, a video, it obviously diminishes the quality of the resolution All right, well, hold of that photo and Pause. video. But hold on, slow up. Now, that's not what happened there. That was just unfinished CGI. No, I know it was unfinished CGI, but keep in mind, you're screenshotting unfinished CGI. You're also distorting the quality of that image more. Look, so, so let's was, perfect they weren't example. done with it. Okay, yeah, they weren't done with it. But let's say, you know, that was done in 720. You screenshot it. Um, okay, let's say 1080. Now you done descaled it down to 720, and people keep screenshotting, screenshotting, and screenshotting to the point where it's just gonna be like blurry as shit. I don't know that. That's that. That's, that that is mean, how most it works. People, most people have phones with at least 1440p resolution on their screen. Yeah, but when you screenshot, you're basically who's flashing. screenshotting this stuff. You'd be surprised how many people screenshot photos, bro. I've sent photos to people like that I've taken, and they don't know how to save a photo. You know who did that, Chris? Who's that? Megan. <laughs> it's like, yo, hold the photo and it will ask you if you want to save or delete. That is whack. That As a photographer, that annoys me because now you are literally erasing my metadata. I literally have a copyright on all my photos whenever I take them. Yeah, that's really whack. Yes. Whack. All right, so, anyways, long yeah. story short, the CGI is with an acceptable range to for a Disney Plus TV series. Yes. I, I would say it's up there with, I mean, people have been complaining about Marvel CG lately. I would say it's up there with 2012's The Avengers. The CG was that good. A little bit than that, but yeah. Really? I mean, now you, it, now you, it's you acceptable. Mean, That's all I'm saying. It's acceptable. Actually, I don't know why you say it like that. The 2012 Avengers movie still, it holds up fine. It don't I know. Bad. That's what I'm saying. I didn't. I didn't want to go too far. I mean, I mean, I didn't want to go I, back. I, like I've watched uh, the first Iron Man movie. They you know, all still so hold up. They all hold up. That movie is very well written. Yes. I don't know why everyone talk a lot of shit about the Marvel CGI. I mean, I don't see it. It's, it's never okay. egregiously bad. So you want to? I think I know where this started. Marvel special of CGI is whack. Nah, I mean, I think all this started with Shang Chi. And the reason why it started... Wow, Shang-Chi looked good. Okay, what? so this... Oh, no, Shang-Chi was good, but this is the issue with, that happened with Shang-Chi. So you would only know this if you watch featurettes or behind-the-scenes stuff, which I know neither one of y'all watches. Y'all don't care about this stuff. So the final fight scene is where everyone has their grievances, right? Okay. Shang-Chi versus Wen Wu. Okay. That was originally a built set. Then Marvel's like, nah, let's just tear it down and green screen it. It looked good to me. I mean, okay, it looks... I like all the keep jumping around the lights. It, it was a cool scene. I don't know. I, I liked it. All right. Yeah. I was in the moment. I had a good time. Yeah. And obviously, I everyone, like the dragon. There was nothing wrong with the dragon to me. Chris, you got a problem with the dragon? No. All right. So I really think that's where it started. Then everybody started complaining about Dr. Stranger's third eye. Yeah, it looked good enough. It looked like a third eye. Okay. I mean, Chris? what did they want exactly? Did they want it? It looked like a third eye. I don't understand. Okay. I think it looked it looked like it was done by an amateur. Like it was just like, you know, like like let's say I like digitally just put an eye on your forehead right now. It's just like, you know, it didn't look like it actually came out of a head. It looks like it was just like, you know, edited on to just like and like mapped. I didn't see it that long to, to judge it. So I don't know. Yeah. But all right, anyway, get back on She Hope. Yeah. It looks good now. Yeah. So it's obviously. Amazing. The show is a 30 minute comedy series. She Hulk is doing what She Hulk does best. And I think She Hulk was the first one to actually do it. Break the fourth wall. Yes, it was great. So, yes. The, I don't want to hear people saying, oh, she's ripping off Deadpool. She Hulk's been doing it longer. Way long. I think since like the 80s. Because when Deadpool, no, it might be no, the probably late, 90s. 90s, yeah. Because Deadpool came out in like 94. But yeah. she and he didn't start doing it immediately either. He started doing it in the late 90s. Yeah. Like after he got his first book, he so, was yeah. a, wasn't he a straight man when he first came out? He wasn't always crazy. No, Deadpool was a very serious, no nonsense character. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, 
it took a while to get that formula right. Like, people tripping. I'm yeah. Like, well, we got a female Hulk now. What the hell? Lady been out since like 1986. I think it was earlier than that. It might be like 77. No, nah, it wasn't that early. No, nah, she's definitely an eighties character. I'll double check real quick. No, nah, she came out in the eighties. I want to say 86, 87. I remember because I read I read through her whole series uh several oh, years. Oh, okay. Ago. Yeah, 1980. So yeah. Um we get a flash forward more or less at the beginning where you know she's getting ready to go to court. And obviously that's when she breaks the fourth wall. And you know, she's like, Yeah, I'm a hope. So this is what happens. We get a recap. She's going to go visit Bruce in Mexico and a Sakaran spaceship uh just lands in front of them and they crash. And Bruce has on this um I can't he's, inhibitor. He's a, yeah, it's an inhibitor to, to basically kind of keep him in human form because I guess whatever he did in the lab. Man, that's the one thing I have a problem. But it's not even it's not this movie, it's not this series' fault. It's Endgame's fault. Okay, no, so, no, no, shut up, shut up. We ain't get there yet. So he he's obviously still has the cast on because the Russo said, you know, his arm is permanently fucked up. All right. Oh, really? Whack. Whack. Yeah. They made him such a oh, so whack. So they crash and they both obviously are cut up and he's telling his cousin, get away, you know, his blood is radiated or whatever. <laughs> wow. I did not like the fact that they changed how she becomes the whole. Okay, how listen. she becomes a whole. I'm okay with how they did it because they had a point. You change something and, and, and it's a point to do it. Okay. I like the point they made. I mean, they could have okay still used that same point. Well, anyway, it, it so some of fire. his blood it got in her blood fire. and it just... You know, became gamma and radiated. Jen goes on the bench. Um, like she just hopes out and just runs off in the woods or whatever. Um, she ends up like at a bar and I don't know somewhere yeah. like and then, maybe you know, Texas. Yeah. Uh, no, Mexico. Well, no, no, that looked like it might have been Texas. Yeah, it might have been possibly. So yeah, and, she ran all the way back to Texas. And with the help of some nice, uh, uh well-meaning ladies. Yeah, they she, thought uh, she was either an assault victim or you know she had a crappy boyfriend. They yeah, gave her any- some clothes and a phone. Or whatnot, then you know, uh, frat boys being frat boys was cat calling her. She they looked a little old to be in college. It was just, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, general, you know, the general consensus. Hey, baby, you got some, you know, yeah, fuck boys, yeah, to go with that shit. Got some fries to go with that shit or whatever. Anyway, and, the point um, is, yeah, she, she hoped snapped. out, yeah, she should have uh, whooped the ass, but yeah, she hoped out. But Bruce basically came and uh, hit her with a water boy tackle, yeah, and she wakes up in the lab. Um, well, she wakes up back in Mexico, um. Uh, and Bruce is down in the lab. This was stupid. So let's get into it. He used her blood to fix his arm. Okay. So yeah. So basically, he took a blood sample, and there's something in their blood, but his his blood was obviously damaged from the snap. I mean, well, his genes were damaged from the snap. So he basically used her blood as like a base. Make, that kind of tracks. That tracks to to heal his arm. That tracks. I can I can see that. I get it, but it was still stupid. Look, here's the problem. Like, we when had, I just said his that, arm like, really? been hurting. His arm should have been damaged in the first place. It should have healed. Look, give him a couple hours, find the whole fight. It was damaged by the funeral and in the end game. He should have been healed. Okay, he let's okay. So let's say that funeral was two weeks after you know Tony died. Yeah, fine. Two weeks. He it took he, him he two weeks to find Thanos, and Thanos was still looking like extra cooked bacon. Thanos doesn't have a healing factor. Thanos does have a healing factor. What are you talking about? I don't know. Does he? That's not, yes. one, of his, that's not one of his prominent abilities. What? Yes. That's not Thanos. one of his more prominent abilities. Thanos has a healing factor, dude. I'm looking it up now. I thought he All could. right. Superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, and agility. Superhuman physiolog- physiology of internals. Skilled in hand-to-hand combat. Near nigh and vulnerability. Nigh vulnerability is not a healing factor. That means you're, you're hard to hurt. That doesn't mean you'll heal the damage quickly. A healing factor is actually a healing factor. You will actually repair your body. He does not do that. Agree to disagree. Nah, because what you go to, let's say, for instance, uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke obviously has a healing factor. Yes, but look how they describe it. How do they describe it? Because you're doing that thing you do where you type and you don't talk. So I'm Hang talking to All right. Build right here. The, okay, uh, go. Enhanced, okay, hang on. We have enhanced physiology that grants him superhuman speed, endurance, uh, enhanced brain activity, and heightened senses and provides him with a regenerative healing factor. So they say the words, okay? They did not say that with Thanos, did they? Let's go to another character. He's going to go to Deadpool. He's basically going to say the same thing except, you know, cancer. 
Hang on. Actually, all right. we're going to right. go Okay, to... screw it. No, no, That's no, neither no, here nor there. No, no, no. no. Let's keep going. You already no. made your point, man. Come on. Good grief. We've been we've been on Zoom for like an hour and a half, so we got at least an hour and 15 minutes of content. Could you talk forever in a day? I don't know Fine. what you're talking about. Go ahead. So, yeah. Uh, he healed his arm, um, and he basically has a book of, what, 18 years, he said? 15. 15 years. He basically made a whole Bible, like this big. Of like things to do if anyone ever else ever became you know a hope, which makes sense. Yeah, which does him. make sense. So he's like trying to help her out with her baselines, like you know, rage and fear are the two triggers that will transform you into a hope. And she said, "Screw it, I can do it on and off, on and off, on and off." And um, she, I mean, Bruce was obviously feeling a little bit salty. Which it's understandable that he feels a little salty about it. Yeah, because he's been dealing with this for 18 years and she got it like that. Well, okay. Well, she explained why she got it like that. This is why I'm okay with the origin change because this, this show has a point in what it's doing and what it's showing us. All right. It obviously has a commentary it wants to portray. So that's why they didn't go with the, the original comic origins with her being shot by a, by a, a defendant's um, henchman. And shoot Jim Walters. All I'm, say, all I'm saying is they uh, they would have muddled the plot to give a second base uh, a, a secondary B plot of her having to find a, the 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 corrupt official or whatever or the or the organized crime wherever I forget who shot her. The point is that would have muddled the plot to 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 know the, it, it would have been messy. All right, I like this. It was concise. It has something to say. There was a point to it. Okay, I like the commentary of how. Uh, women have to live, walk, walk around uh, walking on eggshells everywhere they go. I like that. Okay, and they, that they, that, that, that was a angry. very valid point because you know women get sick and tired of being underappreciated either at yeah. work or by their. You also got to take into account spouse. that yeah, also got to take into account that the the, the first uh, comic came out in 1980, uh, very pre Me Too. So clearly that wasn't on the mind of the writers when they did that. I'm pretty sure they would have. They did it now. They would have something along the lines of this. Mm, I just hope they don't try to tweak her origin because we know how it is when stuff transfers from the MCU into comics. Like I said, like a couple weeks ago, there's literally 10 rings now in the uh, Shang-Chi comic. Yes, there is. Which was never a thing before in what, his 40 plus years of being around? Yep, he had nothing to do with that. But yeah, so they spend like a good 15 minutes, you know, hope training and whatnot. And she tries to leave. Oh, um, the place that he's at, Tony actually built it for him. For, it was a you know a hideaway for you know a few yeah. Hotels. It was a, it was a very touching was, moment. Yeah, it was a very clearly, sad moment because he built the bar. His friend, yeah, yeah, and um, it was like during the five years of Endgame, Bruce built the bar and they would just drink and talk about Steve and whatnot, and you know the good old days. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, and they actually carved their initials in the um. Yeah, it was the counter of the bar, the bar top. Yeah, definitely. Just watch the series, man. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, you'll, you'll like it, Chris. Like I said, it's a half hour. I think it's, I'll watch it after the episode. Yeah. Yeah. So um, she leaves, and Bruce obviously comes to terms with the fact that, you know, she's got this. So she goes back to uh, LA, which uh, I get it. I mean, you can't have everybody in New York. That was one of the things I've never really was a fan of in the comics. Everybody's in New York. It's hot spots, man. Every they have they have put characters out in California. They have characters out in uh, in um, New York. There's there's some people sparkling across the the I know. West Coast. I'm just saying, like, all spots. the big characters. Nobody wants to be in the Midwest. The Midwest sucks. Okay? I know, but you What's know, out there. But the only person we ever had in Miami was Ant Man. And uh, was it Miami? Kane. Yes. Kane. 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 Who? Kane. Kane. Yeah, the Scarlet Spider. No, that was Texas. It was in Texas? Kane Ke- was in Texas. Oh, okay. That was in- yeah. Yeah, in the comics, uh, Scott ended up moving to Miami um, because, um, you know, his uh, ex-wife, her new husband, and Cassie all moved down there. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, because he's actually a good father, unlike someone who remained nameless. Thanos? Yeah, we know. No, I was going to say Bruce Banner. We need, we, need, we need shaming green people right now. We are shaming green people. He's a terrible father in the comic. Oh, God, leave it alone. Terrible right. father. So my, 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 best get is, uh, my best guess is what I posted on our socials. Maybe that's his son in that ship. They better not gloss over that. Nah, nah, no. <laughs> Bro, Hell you no. got to admit it. We're never no. going to get a Planet Hope movie. That, I don't want a Planet Hope movie at this point. But do not, do not gloss over Kira. 
Do not gloss over that character. Okay? Do not yada 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 the most important person in his entire um history of a character. Okay? Damn, she thinks she more okay. Well, she did give him a kid. She gave him a kid. She's the father, she is the mother of, of his biological son. Okay. She accepted both of them. Nobody has ever done that. Not even Betty. Okay. Betty never accepted the whole the, the way she did. All right. Every aspect of him, she accepted. Okay. That was uh, rant over. A little. Yeah, mostly. All right. Don't so, gloss over her. Got me upset. You you done now? <laughs> so we yeah, keep done. going. All right. So yeah, so she goes back to LA. She obviously tells her friend who is also a paralegal, and they get ready to go to court. And her douchebag of a male um co-workers like, don't screw up the closing distance. Yeah, man's playing like so hard. Yeah. Yeah. And she's getting ready to close on um, close the case. And Jamila Jamil shows up as Titana, comes through, fuck shit up. She turns into the hope. Uh, knocks her out, and that's the end of the episode. I loved it. Uh, 10 out of 10 for me. I'm definitely going to be watching this every, I don't know if it's dropping every Wednesday or Thursday. because Thursday. Because, you know, they always drop the shows on Wednesdays. So maybe this was just because of a mess up or something. So maybe to be on Wednesday, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to see if we can look into that a little bit further. But Any, yeah. any mid-credits? Yes, there is a oh, post-credits oh, scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, everyone was talking about it, too. Yeah. So yeah, basically, Chris, if you watch the clip that I posted on our um Instagram where they're in the car before the crash and they're talking about um, you know, uh Captain America being a virgin. Yep. So she basically milked Bruce into telling her when Steve lost his virginity. Yeah, don't don't ruin too much of it. You gotta kind of see yeah, it land watch, so well. Actually watch it when when I get off of um this off thing. Here. but yeah. Good show. Highly recommend it. I've loved Tatiana Maslany since Orphan Black. Same. Obviously, Mark Ruffalo kicks ass. Jamila Jamil ain't really do much, but... I mean, hopefully they give her more. I mean, I'm just saying in the first episode, she ain't really do much. Uh, she looked good. <laughs> I mean, she was wearing a muscle suit. Yeah, she looked good. <laughs> right, why, y'all, so, why y'all gotta hate on people uh, 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 glow-ups? I'm not hating on nobody's glow-ups. That's just, that's just CGI. Look, she looks good. I was good, just man. saying, she, just I, never said, I never just said, said that she, she looked look good. Jamila Jamil does look good. She's All on right, my list. Leave it at that. She's on my list. You're so toxic, man. I'm not toxic. I ain't Britney Spears, nigga. But yeah, so um, guys, check out She Hulk Attorney at Law. Like I said, we don't know what day it comes out. Probably Wednesday. Yeah. But um, I don't think we got anything else to talk about. No, nah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, because I mean, there's are there any movies coming out like within the next week or so that we got to review? I, okay, so what I could do is uh, because you were supposed through. to watch Bodies, 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 but you didn't. I have I'll try to watch what, it this weekend. What about the Orphan First Kill? That came I'm, I'm definitely going to check that out because that's on Peacock. So yeah, I will be reviewing oh. Orphan First Kill next week. What I will do is I will give a quick scatter shot of Netflix original movies that are really good. Oh, that shit. You, you still watched. on that? I have a yeah, because it's like okay, look, the old guard. Movie was stellar. It was stellar. We watched the old guard. It was good. Yes, yes. it was good. The old okay. guard was okay. Pieces of a woman, great. The power of the dog, great. They have good movies now. Come on, extraction was my favorite. The harder they fall, extraction, amazing. Yes, hustle, but, great. The but, Adam Project. Adam Project was good. Hustle, uh, yes. Uh, next over, was... over the past year, I have to say, Netflix movies have been really good. Blood Red Sky. If you haven't watched Blood Red Sky, go see it. I didn't even actually, know about that one. No, that's actually a good vampire movie. Okay, this movie actually gives you good vampires. They're actually monstrous creatures that don't have any um, self-control. You understand why you kill them on sight. Day shift. <laughs> oh, the harder they fall. The Chris harder said that. They fall. Chris said that already. Sea Beast. Sea Beast was so good. Tick, tick, boom. They have good films. That's They're on my list. Work. All right. Tick, tick, boom is on my list. Uh, The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf, great. What the hell is that? The it's a it's the animated uh, Witcher movie. It's really good. I didn't know they did an animated Witcher movie. It's good. Um, oh, King from 2019 movie is stellar. We were just talking about stuff that's Army of Thieves, it. Fear Street, all the Fear Street movies. You done? A little, yeah, I'm done ranting. But my point oh. is, don't just say that all all uh, Netflix films are bad. No they one said good. all of them were bad. We said they've been hit or miss for the past two years. Hey, everyone has hit or miss movies now. Come on. We didn't. We never said that. That they didn't. I'm just saying. Don't don't just sit there and say, "Oh, well, they should." I'm just saying, they should trash. 
Hurry up and get a new camera because you. Because what? No, it's not that. Your resolution look, is trash. Look, I'm, I'm John Cena, y'all. <laughs> he been doing that since we got video, and I'm sick and tired of it. Sky. <laughs> All right, Chris. Oh. Once again, thank you for joining us. I hate you, thank Samir. You for having me, Samir. Do yourself a favor. Watch Day. He's not gonna watch it. Do myself a favor and not watch it. He's not gonna watch it, Chris. I, I I do I do enjoy your your uh your banter. Thank you, sir. I like your opinion. All right, even if it's wrong. No, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. All I'm saying is, look, you can't just kill something for 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 existing. That sounds a little racist. Just saying. Racist. Racist. You 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 from Alabama now? Yep. Oh, that's, sh- that's- shout out! Sh- shout out to my sister from another Mister A- um, Ryan Hart, aka Ryan. So you guys go uh, watch her on Twitch. Today's her birthday. The day we're recording, August nineteenth. Twitch streams? Yes. Uh, I'm trying to get her on the podcast. I don't know what she she be on, she be anti social what sometimes. Is, what's her content? She streams games. Oh, really? Yeah. You yeah. Bring her on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna try to get her on these days. What's her screen name? Ryan Hart. R Y E A N H E A R T. I think it's still Ryan Hart. She might have changed it to Ryan J. I can't remember. She might have gone back. But um, yeah. So, guys, this is Bernard, aka the Scarlet Spider. This is Samir, the King in Black. Just Chris. Yes. <laughs> uh, that was another episode of the Angry Blurs podcast. Join us next time. Same Blur channel, same Blur network. I will try to watch Bodies, Bodies, Bodies and give my um, honest review on that because it looks pretty stellar. I'm a huge fan of Amanda Stenberg and Pete Davidson is on a roller coaster of a, of a career high. So anything he does right now turns to gold. Uh, Pete's been on an emotion, um, you know, on a um, career roller coaster for a while, guy, even before he got with... Um, I didn't say nothing about, I didn't say nothing about uh, that, that stuff, no. The I fake booty Armenian. High. All right. Why do you say she's, she's an actual Armenian? She's not a fake Armenian. I said fake bootied. Why do you always hate on people with plastic surgery? My ex had plastic surgery. Why are you always hating on people with plastic I'm surgery? I'm not hating on everybody with plastic surgery. Then why do you point out that one thing about her? Because she lies about it. She's been lying for like 11 years. I don't we've, think she lied about seen... it. I, I don't think Chris, she lies about it. She lied, yeah. right? She lied, right? She did. Thank you. It's clear, it's clear. They all lied about something. Chloe, Chloe shot. Chloe came up with a new face. Oh, it's just Photoshop. Why are you lying? I mean, Chloe did get in the gym, though. Don't, don't hate Chloe. Chloe got, Chloe got under the knife. That's what she did. Nah, you can they look all, up. You can they look all up been up. under the knife. Look at, they look, look up a ton of her workout videos. She actually did work out. Yeah, you got to work out to maintain. You think Leanna, you think Leanna got in the gym? No, I, she, bro, she told me. She's like, I'm going to go get my abs sculpted. I'm going to go get a BBL. I'm going to go get my boobs redone. You gotta go into the gym to maintain, Samir. Yeah. But that's neither here that, nor there. You gotta axe the ground against plastic surgery. To no, I why. don't. Drake yeah, I got do. Drake got abs sculpted. I ain't saying nothing about that. I don't know what the whole point of that is. Just get, I mean, honestly, you got the money. Get a personal trainer. I don't want He got a personal core. trainer. Why? Because he gotta maintain. But I'm anyway. Saying, I want the real core. I don't know. Anyway. So be sure to rate, review, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm planning on doing a giveaway. I don't know if it's an Amazon gift card or a Nintendo Switch bag. Please, I don't know yet. Please come in and subscribe because that vein on Bernard's head is about to explode. I don't have a vein. Those are wrinkles. Nah, man. You, you, I see it popping out. Just, it's just throbbing. Oil you don't know who be having the throbbing veins. I don't have a Shut up. Vein. I'm, I'm calm. All right. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, be sure to rate, review, subscribe. Did I already say that? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, everybody, tell tell um, our viewers and listeners, peace out, goodbye, sayonara, see you later, may the force be with you, live long and prosper and all that. Yeah. Toodaloo. It's TTFN. What the hell? TTFN. What the hell is that? Ta-ta for now. Oh, lame. <laughs>